You want to find out how to turn your potato cam into a sweet potato cam? Well, stick around and I'll tell you how. Welcome back everyone. I was recently contacted by a company called Bully Eyes. They asked if I'd be interested in checking out their lens kit for smartphones. Nowadays people are using their smartphones for everything and most of them come with incredible cameras. And this product is promised to make your photos and videos even better. Those of you who've watched my product reviews know that I give my honest opinion about them. I'm in no way being paid or sponsored to tell you good things about this product so if there's something bad or wrong about it, I'll definitely tell you what it is. So without going any further, let's open the box and see what comes inside. Now on the box you will find the Bully Eyes logo as well as some information about the website, what the product can fit, and state that by purchasing this product you're supporting a good cause. So after opening the box you'll find the instruction manual, the two lenses, the lens clip, a microfiber cleaning cloth, and a small carry pouch to fit everything inside. Now the way this works is very simple. You get the lens attachment and you just rotate it onto the clip. As far as assembly goes, that's all that's required. You pop off the lens cover and you're presented with the first of two lenses. Now this kit actually comes with two lenses. The first one is a wide angle HD lens that provides 120 degrees field of view. Now if you rotate it apart, underneath you will find the macro lens. Now the way this works is to get macro shots, you use just the macro lens alone and just basically clip it right over your camera. In order to get a wide angle field of view, you must use both lenses together. Now just by feeling this, I can tell you that the build quality is excellent. The lens cases are covered in a metal housing and this clip has an extremely strong spring on it so it's not going to slip off. It's not going to fall off and once it's on your phone it's not going anywhere now enough talking about this i'm sure you want to see how it works right in order to do that i think we should head outside so let's go that's better coming to you from beautiful nayag park this is a good spot to demonstrate the capabilities of the bully eyes lens attachment now for this demonstration we're going to be using my galaxy s9 smartphone a lot of you know this has an incredible camera on it and those of you who are subscribed to my channel, you know that I've used this on some of my videos and it produces a pretty solid image for a smartphone. So we're gonna see if using the lens attachment is gonna improve the camera quality and to see if it's really worth buying it as an accessory. As mentioned, everything does fit in this little pouch. So what I'm gonna do first is take it out. I'm gonna show you how it fits on the phone and show you how it looks while it's on the phone. And then we'll do some test footage. Now I would like to point out that this actually is capable of fitting on phones that do have a pretty slimline case on it. This is a pretty basic flat case and this will work with the case on it. Honestly, I think it'll work better without a case. You'll get a bit uh, tighter fit on it, but if you want to leave your case on, this will work. Now for a thicker, you know, waterproof or outer box case, probably won't work. But all you got to do is place it over the center of the rear camera. Just like that. That's how it looks when it's on there. I do have a pop socket on here. So you pop off the lens cap and that's it. It's already installed and you're ready to start using it. Now again, it's not gonna be super secure because of the case, but it's not gonna fall off though. But I did test it without the case. It's a very tight, extremely strong hold on it and it's gonna not go anywhere. And just to point out right inside here, there are two little rubber pads that will help it grip to your phone so that prevents it from going anywhere. Okay first up we're going to try out the ultra wide angle lens at 120 degrees field of view and I'm going to switch to the camera on my phone so that way you guys can see a live image and compare the difference between the stock camera footage and with the lens attachment. Just remember when you do use the wide angle lens it must be used in conjunction with the macro lens. You cannot use it by itself otherwise it'll be a blurry distorted picture. When you're using the macro lens, you will use that one by itself individually. So right now I'm gonna cut over to the camera on my phone and we'll test it out. Okay, right now we're using the stock camera on my Galaxy S9. I'm holding the phone at arm's length 
And as you know, the rear camera is usually the better quality camera on the phones, but you can't see the screen, so you're kind of guessing in the dark where you should be facing it, hoping that you're in the, in the picture. So right now, this is how it looks stock, and we're gonna slip on the lens attachment and see if you notice the difference. Okay, I do have the bully eyes wide angle attachment on there right now. You should be able to see more of my arm here, as well as a wider background. And I think ideally, based on the footage I've seen from this, this is gonna be ideal for vloggers. People that use a lot of filming with their phones, especially when using the rear camera. As I mentioned, you can't see the image, but when you're using this lens, you're almost guaranteed that you're gonna be center of the frame and you don't have to worry about any of the guesswork as to where you should be pointing the camera. Okay, so that was a look at the wide angle lens. So now we're gonna do is unscrew it. And now we have the macro lens. So we're gonna attach this to the, to the phone and I'll give you some test shots of it. All right, so that was a look at the Bully Eyes wide angle macro lens combo for smartphones. Now you may be asking, who should buy this? Basically anyone who uses their smartphone for photography or taking videos. The wide angle lens is especially useful for vloggers. As I showed when using that rear camera, you're guaranteed to get yourself in the frame. And you don't have to worry about screwing up your shot. I myself personally will be using it for some of my cinematic shots that I use in my videos. I think it's gonna be a great tool for it. As far as the macro lens goes, I gotta say I was blown away by its performance. There's no way possible that you could get the shots that I took with this using just a smartphone camera. The only way you'd be able to achieve those shots is by buying a DSLR and a macro lens combo, and you're easily gonna spend over $500. Now this retails for $28. In my eyes, that's a great value. I'd have no problem paying that any day of the week. Now I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. There's a website called stuffforcamera.com. On there, you can find this item and purchase it directly from there. And if you want any additional information on it, you can find it on there as well. So that's going to do it for this review. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you prefer the wide angle lens or the macro lens and what you think of its performance. And one last note, this is compatible with both iPhone and Android phones. So you can turn that potato cam into a sweet potato cam. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.